Hello, and welcome back to the Web Dev Coach, where my goal is to teach you web development. In the last video, I went over Hacktoberfest and how, after creating five pull requests uh, on GitHub, you can get your very own free Hacktoberfest t-shirt. In this video, I'm going down the same free t-shirt road um, with Twilio. Twilio has created the game called Twilio Quest. In that game, Twilio teaches you how to actually use their API. Um, after creating, after, I'm sorry, after finishing their first set of challenges, they will send you a free t-shirt. This is valid only for October 2018, um, from what I understand. So go ahead, get started, finish that up, and get your free t-shirt. In this video, I'll be completing my own quest to getting a free t-shirt. So follow along, enjoy, and let's start Twilio Quest. All right, here I am at uh, Twilio dot com forward slash quest it forwarded me to the settings page because i'm new to this actual quest i chose to start it just for this video so i'm going to uh, allow others to view our progress um let's see my username will be the web dev coach my display name will be the same thing and my twitter name is also the web dev coach p.s follow me on twitter um here we get to select a snazzy icon. So I'm going to uh, make one that I guess looks as close to me as it can. Um, let's see, eyes, hair color is black. To be honest, I think that's probably close enough. I am not in an event right now, but let's get started with Twilio Quest. So here we are on the missions page. Uh, the getting started mission is the one that rewards us with the free t-shirt. So of course, let's get started with that one. Um, after clicking into getting started, we'll start the first quest, which is equip yourself. And if you read through the objective here, it's uh, pretty easy. It just asks us to start wearing chucks. Um, basically, we have to, this will self verify. So there's no verification process uh, that we have to go out of our way to do. But basically all we have to do is click inventory, equip our chucks of increased preparedness, and that's it. We'll get our 50 points. So let me go to my inventory, equip chucks of increased preparedness, and you'll see here that I got 50 XP. And if we go back to mission and getting started, equip yourself is all done. All right, let's get back to that Twilio quest in search of our free sweet Twilio t-shirt. Uh, let's click get a Twilio phone number here and to finish this objective we'll need to actually get a Twilio phone number. This phone number must be voice and SMS enabled so please keep that in mind and um, after buying the phone number we'll need to copy and paste the Twilio phone number here on the bottom in the bottom input box. So as um, described let's open up the Twilio console if you're new to Twilio, you need to sign up for a new account, so uh, please do that. We'll create a new project, and um, for this new project, let's actually click here, products, and click phone numbers. We'll obviously need phone numbers enabled to get a Twilio phone number. So after uh, clicking continue, you'll see that they ask for a project name. I'll just name this one uh, Twilio Quest and continue. The next screen asks if we want um, to invite any teammates, but we do not. We want that t-shirt all to ourselves. Um, in order to actually buy a phone number, we'll need to uh, verify our uh, Twilio account. And we do this on the bottom by clicking upgrade and clicking verify a number. So click verify a number here a modal will pop up where um, you would actually put in your phone number for them to call or text. If you want them to text you, click that link, put in your phone number, click text me, and then you'll need to enter the verification code. Um, I'll be back after verifying my phone number. Nice job. And with that, you should be all verified on Twilio. To buy a phone number, let's click the pound sign on the left side. It should read phone numbers. After clicking that, on the left side, left side, click buy a number. Uh, here you'll be taken to a form where we can specify the capabilities we need for our phone number. 
Here, let's click voice and SMS as um, it's been told to us in the objectives that we need a voice and SMS enabled phone number to complete the objective. Um, choose your country code, put in any area code that you may want, and click search. Here, uh, we find a phone number. I'll just click the first phone number that I see. I'll buy this number. Don't worry, you won't be paying for anything. They have not taken our credit card information just yet. So perfect, we just purchased uh, this number. That'll be my number. And let's uh, copy and paste the phone number. Um, let's see, scroll right on down. Yep, here it is. We don't have to scroll down at all. Let's copy and paste that into the bottom input box. Verify. And that's it. We have 50 new XP. We completed this objective. On to the next one. We will click next objective here. And uh, here we'll see a new objective to explore the API Explorer. Um, we'll use the API Explorer to send a text message to our very own mobile phone from our Twilio phone number. And um, that the body of the message must be uh, the body they describe here. So to do this, let's open up the API Explorer. Um, before you do that, do not forget to copy this body here. Anyway, we'll open up the API Explorer. Uh, great, and here, let's uh, make sure you have programmable SMS chosen in the dropdown. Click Messages, and we'll want to make a post request to uh, Messages in order to create a message. Um, I'm going to skip the to input box, but in the to input box, put your uh, mobile telephone number, your personal mobile telephone number, starting with your country code. Do not forget your country code. Uh, with from, we'll uh, actually select our Twilio phone number in the body. We'll put in the body that we copied into our clipboard. After you do that, you scroll down and uh, we'll make the request. Uh, I won't be doing that here, um, so I'll actually get a 400 as the two phone number is necessary. But after doing that, um, you will need to actually copy the SID that you have here. So let me actually send the request. I'll copy the SID and I'll be right back. Nice. So um, after sending the text message to your phone, copy this SID from the response. It should be the uh, top key in the JSON response. If not, scroll down into the JSON and find the SID. Get back to the uh, objective screen, paste the message SID there, verify, and that's it. You solved that objective. On to the next one. The next objective. Uh, the next objective is for us to create a Twimmel bin. Um, creating a Twimmel bin basically allows us to create a uh, service that answers the phone for us, answers our Twilio phone number when people call us with a uh, custom greeting. It's really cool. Let's get dive into it. So we're going to scroll down and open the Twilio, Twimmel bins um, feature in the Twilio console. Um, in the Twimmel bins uh, webpage, we'll click, once it comes up, create a new Twimmel bin. Um, here, we'll put a friendly name. We'll just say, uh, hello from the web dev coach, right? And um, actually, the, the objective is right there. We want to create XML, which is a response and a verb that says say. Uh, you can put hello uh, from Twilio. I'm also going to put hello from the web dev coach. And we're going to create it. Nicely done. After doing that, let's go back to our phone numbers. And here we'll uh, select our active number. And let's scroll scroll down to uh, voice and fact, facts and click uh, open up the drop down menu for a call comes in. We'll use the new Twimmel that we created hello from WebDevCoach, and save that. Very nice.
Now, as a bonus, use your phone to call your, Twim- to call your Twilio phone number. In my case, it'd be 347-848-1475. Use your phone, or if uh, you didn't set one up and you're just watching this video, feel free to call my uh, Twilio trial. Um, it's pretty cool, trust me. We'll go back here, uh, go down to self-verification, and whoops, we'll uh, paste our Twilio phone number there and click verify. That's it. 50 more XP, one more objective down. The next Twilio objective introduces us to Twilio functions. Basically, what we uh, what happens here is you'll be texting from your personal phone number, from your personal cell phone number, let's say, to a uh, Twilio function to your Twilio. I'm sorry, to your Twilio phone number. And when an incoming text comes in, the Twilio function runs. This specific Twilio function, as you see, will fetch from a dog API and return a dog fact. It'll message, uh, respond with a dog fact to the uh, text message that came in. Now, for the trial account, we'll need to use a verified phone number, and that'll be the phone number that you verified earlier on this video, or it won't work. You can't just use any phone number for a trial account. Once you upgrade to a paid account, then you can have a uh, Twilio uh, message hook that responds to any Twilio phone number. Anywho, let's uh, continue on and open up the Twilio functions in the Twilio console. As that starts, I'm as that loads, I'm sorry, I'm actually going to copy this code here. Uh, let's click create a function and use the hello SMS template to create a new function. Uh, here I'm going to uh, call this hello dog facts as uh, they suggested and have a endpoint of SMS dog fact. Very good. Um, for the code here, I'm going to copy and paste the code that they suggested and save this function. As you noticed in the code, we are actually importing a package called got, and uh, we'll need to configure the this function to actually use that package uh, and imp basically import and install that package. So on the left, underneath functions, let's click configure and scroll on down. We'll uh, add the got npm module and as they suggest we'll use version 8.0.3 very good and save that um, okay so as that's deploying let's go to our phone numbers okay this is taking a while to load sorry open up our phone number and um, we'll scroll on down to messaging. Now when a message comes in we'll want to use our uh, function hello dog facts. Let's save that there and that's really it. Um, if you are playing along at home text your very own uh, Twilio number from the verified phone number. Again if you have a trial account it's not going to work unless you text from your verified phone number um, but uh, Anywho, let's continue on, paste in our Twilio phone number, click verify, and rack up that sweet, sweet XP. Nice job, another objective down. Alright, we made it to the final mission. After completing this mission, we'll get that sweet, sweet swag, that sweet, sweet Twilio t-shirt. Um, what this mission, uh, what, I'm sorry, what this objective entails is setting up an NGROC, um, basically, pipeline from our local, a local server that we create to the public internet. So anybody can hit a local server that we create. Um, this will entail creating a small express server that serves up hello world. And um, this hello world will be accessible from the public internet using ngrok. I'll, um, I'll show you exactly the way to go if you want to use Node.js. If you want to use anything else, such as C-sharp, ASP.NET, Java, Python, Ruby, PHP, etc., I recommend going down to the blog post below. Um, anywho, I'm going to open up the uh, Node.js uh, blog post just to have some code copy and pasted, uh, copied into my clipboard that I can very, very easily use. So uh, let me do that here. 
All right. And um, from there, I will open up my terminal. I actually decided to open up a uh, terminal here in Visual Studio Code. That way it's a little easier to transition between uh, coding and using the terminal. Uh, open up a new folder. I called mine ngrok example. Uh, you can call yours whatever you'd like. Um, as you see here, uh, whenever this chooses to load up, it's a totally empty directory. There are no files in it, so I am starting from scratch. Inside ngrok example, I'll create a file called index.js and actually paste the code that I copied over from the hello the node hello world. At the top, on the top line, on the very first line, you'll see that uh, we are importing express, which means we'll have to install express. So in your terminal, in the same folder that you're using, so it, again, in my case, it's ngrok example, you'll want to type npm install express. Again, it's very important that you're in the same exact folder um, where the index.js lives. So after a few seconds, um, npf, I'm sorry, express should be installed. And after that happens, we'll want to actually start our so server. To do that, just type in node index.js and you'll see that um, uh, we're now listening to localhost 8081. And let's give that a shot. Oh, that's 8001, 8081. And you'll see here that we have hello world. However, let's open up a new terminal. What we want to do is create a, a publicly accessible pipe to that hello world that we just created. We want to be able to access our local host uh, web application through the public internet. And to do that, we need to actually use um, ngrok. So we're going to, let's see, I like to use brew to install everything. I'm going to use brew cask install ngrok. And I'll wait till that installs. I'll be right back because um, this is going to take a while. Great. Ngrok finally installed for me, and um, again, if you want to install Ngrok the way I did with Brew, make sure to install Brew. Go to brew.sh uh, to, let me just show you real quick, brew.sh uh, to um, get the, um, how can I say, the command needed to actually install Brew onto your machine. Just copy and paste this into your terminal, press enter, and Brew will install itself. It'll make your life so much easier. Anywho, after my Brew cask install ngrok, we have ngrok installed on our machine. To use ngrok, you'll see that it's just as easy as typing ngrok, HTTP, um, and the uh, the port that we're using for our web application. In our case, it's port 8081. Press enter, and this ngrok uh, console interface will show up. It'll give us the uh, the uh, public URL where we can see our hello world being run. Again, your, um, your node server must be running for this to be working. So let's go to our um, browser type in the ngrok uh, URL, and you'll see that our hello world is actually running. This is pretty amazing because now we can um, visit our local server, our local server uh, endpoint on the public internet. It helps with a ton of testing. It's an amazing, amazing tool. So we're going to scroll down actually to uh, our, in our Twilio quest, put in our ngrok URL, press verify, and boom. 100 XP. We are finished with the first module, first mission of uh, the Twilio quest. So you'll see here that we have A, earned a Twilio account credit, and B, we have our free Twilio quest t-shirt. Um, click this button, fill in your information, and that's it. Congratulations on getting the free Twilio quest t-shirt. Totally proud of you guys. Um, until next time, this is the Web Dev Coach. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, hope to see you guys next time on the channel. Good luck.